Before we get started, I'd just like to point out real fast that the tool that I'm about to show you is not exactly designed for this specific car, but I think it's going to work out. Real quick, uh, short video. I want to show you guys a cool party trick on these transverse GM engines, especially the uh, like the older 3.8s, 3.4s, and 3.1s. Uh, I need to get to the spark plugs on that back side, but uh, you can see that there's really not much space over there to play with. Uh, disregard the intake manifold being removed, that's for a different project, but uh, I need to get back there to get to these plugs. And uh, I think I've got a clever way to go about that. We shall begin by removing this engine mount right here. I need to make space. And I can't do that with this mount in the way. Let's just pull this guy out right now. Everything's a hammer. Reverse click. Okay, the mount is out of the way. This little guy is going in, in its base. And I'm just gonna bolt it right in, using the same bolts for the mount. It's either gonna work or it's not. Ooh, you know what? I have an idea. I found a longer bolt in my uh, pile of spare bolts. That should make this operation a little bit more safe. Okay, check this out. You guys are gonna like this. Wrong way. It's not working. Perhaps I need to reconfigure. Oh, I know, I know. I'll just tighten this down all the way. Then it can't flex. There. Now the idea being, as this thing tightens up and gets smaller, it's gonna draw the engine away from the firewall. more revision needed. We're going full sketchy on this one. Yeah, here we go. Some welding clamps. Maximum sketchiness. This is totally gonna work. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it, can, it can go. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right, now that may not have been much, but the one inch or so that I got out of this procedure is gonna allow me to get those spark plugs out. Touch guys would like this little tool. It's ancient, but it does its job. Thanks for watching, see you guys later.